Mutiny Radio is back. I'm hanging with Rich Voss on my first um, show back. Left a lot of people in the dark because I just did not have any real info until uh, uh, pretty much yesterday. Pretty much yeah. yesterday. Uh, hey, look, uh, what's going know, on, Voss? You all right? First of all, let me explain right over to there. these. Let me explain to these fucking motherfuckers on Twitter. Let me explain something. First of all, any wait, radio wait, wait, show I, I do. Are, are you trying to say there's a problem on Twitter? No. No, there's good, there's always positive, there's negative. There's negative people, there's positive people. There's Jimmy fans, there's Obi fans. There's Obi fans, there's Jimmy fans. There's Jimmy haters, there's Obi haters. There's Obi haters, there's Jimmy. Whatever the fuck. Let me explain something about me. So one person, right, don't pretend you're, ha I'm having a good time here today because they're, whatever the fuck is going on between Opie and Jim. When you're, that's when, you're, not, when you're trying to say something poignant, you can't go der. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen, I, look, I'm stupid. Usually I would let that slide, but I think you want to yeah. say something poignant here. Yeah. So you can't say der. 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 There? There. I don't even remember what I, I was saying. There. What I'm saying, there whatever, okay. problems, right, what, whatever problems they have, they have, and I'm sure it'll either die out, settle, whatever the fuck. That's, that's not, when I do radio, when I'm doing Opie, when I'm doing Norton, when I'm doing the fucking sports junkies, wheeze, fucking Shred and Reagan, Anthony, I'm going to try to have a good time. I'm not going to come in here and, did and you wanna, fucking, did you want to squeeze in Anthony, uh, third spot? Oh no! I just I'm just going. Did you, did you want to squeeze him in there, and you got a little nervous? And not then, before sports and then you wanted, junkies. You not wanted to distract this. me and like add a bunch of shows, and then throw that in as an aside. Oh no, no, no! I haven't done anything in a while, but I'm. I, I will. just ask it. I don't know. It sounded a little you. weird. Like you're a little worried to mention. Uh, no, I've done Anthony, Anthony in that radio rant of yours. No, I did. listen first. Uh, I'm joking. I know, I know, and All I get right. it. Show these people. So they're going okay. Uh, oh, act like he's having, I've been doing this fucking show for 12 years through all of the breakups, all of the bullshit, and I come in and I do what the fuck I do, no matter what's going on. All right. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm not going to come in here and go, what is oh, it boo. you do here? What do I do? What is it you do here? I bring the fucking humor to the table. <laughs> humor. Okay. I bring the fucking, I bring, I bring the realness. People know Ridge Foss. So, and then the girl that called me a little bitch. Well, let me tell you something, you <laughs> fucking motherfucking. Why is she calling okay. me a little bitch? Yes. Oh, Foss is a little bitch. Why? Adrian. I don't want to say her last name, but let me tell you something. First of all, why are you fucking listening? Why are you listening? People and, love to hate shit. You know, they uh, love uh, to uh, tune uh, in and hate shit. Listen, I'm a bitch. I didn't say anything negative about my fucking friend Jim. I didn't say anything negative about Opie. Okay? I'm here. And what did I uh, say to you before you got in here today? Uh, too much teeth. What? Too much teeth. When I was blowing you. <laughs> too much teeth. Oh, okay. you all right, all right. Fuck, I what? actually got that one. <laughs> uh, I so, said I would keep you out of the fucking drama. Yeah, but I'm not knowing. You, I would both keep you, you out of the drama. To, I keep myself out of it because I do what I got to do to support my family and advance my career and get stuff. And do I like doing and, radio. And you need to, to, to buy another backpack. You're uh, one short. Yes. You're okay, one short. So this girl that called me a bitch, don't listen. All right. Don't That's fucking, impossible for these people. You, you know, know that, right? It, because I'm going to do. I'm talking about the ones that really fucking hate the show. Listen, the day Anthony. There's nothing to hate yet. Yes. I mean, we haven't even begun. The day Anthony fucking I came in, I go, let the audition begin. All right. And I had fun that day. And it, look, go fuck yourselves. You're getting, Enough a little, of, you're getting a little worked up. No, yes, because these monkeys and these mutants, they're fucking. Oh, the that'll, most, that'll help the situation. Oh, well, you think I'm going to win Adrian over? Do you think I'm going to, maybe if I bring a, bring a pie to her house, maybe, <laughs> that's maybe the only way, or fucking is she a back bit, up. Is she a bit big boned? Uh, no, obviously not in her picture, but you could tell. You, you can tell, tell she's big boned. Ah, she's growing as I'm looking at her picture right <laughs> now. It just got bigger. All right. Okay. So <laughs> you could tweet me again. I favored it, your tweet. I didn't block you because you don't get it. You don't, you're not an entertainer. Mm. You're a fucking listener whose opinion Means not a fucking thing in the in the overall scheme of things. All right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, are you buying my CDs? Are you coming to my shows and supporting me? Probably not. So go fuck yourself. Doesn't mean a thing, huh? It does. It gets me pissed off. <laughs> I know <you're> it. <laughs> it does. Why but does it get you so pissed off? Because they don't get it. Why would they call me a bitch? 
Because I'm doing what I would do on Norton's show. I'm doing what I would do on fucking any radio show, trying to be fucking funny right. and trying to carry the conversation and trying to get through this fucking uh, whole bullshit that's going on that will pass at some point. Right. That will pass, but I'm here the day of all this fucking controversy. All so right. what am I supposed to do? All right, why don't we why don't we just go to the phone? And that's without food. I I usually am offered food here. Why Ken, we, Kenny now thinks he's so big because he works with Amy that he can't get anybody food. Why don't we Why don't we uh, move on? Take some calls. Take some calls. All right. God damn. We got uh, H G from Long Island. Hello. Hello. Who's Hello. this? Is Is this the uh, Opie show? <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in how long? Two years, years. three months. It's Anthony Cumia. Greg Opie Hughes, ladies and gentlemen, on, on my fucking show. Wow, this is crazy. I don't is think this, I should be here right now. Is that really uh, Anthony? Oh, oh. Wait, who's uh, who are you on with? Mercurial. Oh, all. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, yeah. There's somebody fucking in here. I'm gonna. Do I have the point? Shit. Yeah. Points, I'm gonna have him run to give uh, someone a blowjob in a synagogue. <laughs> You can't, you can't be that desperate that you would have Paul Mercurio on. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's Here fucking. Here we go, Mr. Afternoon. Oh, oh my God. God. How, how bad did it get that you have Paul Mercurio? It's Monday. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Well, um, what's going to put on? It, uh, simply, Paul Mercurio came in right after Jeff Norris left. <laughs> <laughs> Getting all the big stars, I see. I heard. Yeah. I heard you had Paul Bond coming in. <laughs> good old Paul Bond. What's going okay, on, I'm Anthony? Good. I'm a fan of his. Oh, Opie, yeah. that 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 kind of jab would carry a little more weight if you didn't have Rich Voss sitting next to you. Let me take it. Okay. Take it. Uh, what are you going to do? Discuss that new show, The Sopranos? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how? Okay, Sybil. Nice talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you, turncoat. Go fuck yourself. Oh, in your, shut in up. your stupid Garmin District fucking studio. <laughs> oh, that, oh that, that, that's great. When does Bonnie tell you you have to leave, Rich? In about 15. 15. <laughs> 15. But at least I'm not going to go help her with our homework. <laughs> wow! Yeah, believe wow. me, you couldn't help a first grader with that. <laughs> no hey, hey, this isn't about me. This is about two guys getting back and talking. Okay, a little weird. It's a little uh, weird. Uh, a little obviously. weird. A little weird, obviously. Um, but see, now it's going to be now it's going to be spawn that I'm desperate and how to get no. No, 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 uh, no I, I don't think anyone here is desperate. I am, um, I am. We, well, Voss we is. Ha- Va- Voss, <laughs> I think we could be in agreement that Voss is desperate. Oh, God, yeah. am I? Voss is always desperate, uh, <laughs> trying to sell his wares. He, he actually handed me a CD. I, 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 I don't know about you, but I haven't had a CD player in, in I don't know, years. I don't know what to do here with this it. thing. Exactly. When was the last time you saw he, a CD spit out of your dashboard? Right, exactly. He ran out of 8 tracks, so he had to go. Yeah. Was that Mercurio? Yeah, it was. Hey, Mercurio, right. stop. Let the headliners talk. <laughs> Here we go. He's All like, right. Take it. He can stop. never no, no, no. fucking take Let it. Let the headliners go, talk. Go, go, go. <laughs> You're a great middle act. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take out the Rolodex of fucking shit. Jesus Christ, this is some army we've constructed. <laughs> no, this is Jesus Christ. How, how sad have we become? Do you know uh, how uh, sad have we become? Me and Opie uh, uh, feuding with two peace shooters shooting at each other. Uh, <laughs> hey, no, no, now you're fucking attacking me. Well, I have. You know what? The most the important days. thing said today was Garmin District fucking show. Rich Voss is a brilliant guy. The Thank old, you. The old right. days we had uh, nuclear warheads. And oh, oh now, now no, we're just... Now we got throwing. styrofoam darts. It's literally a... a Child shirt bomb fight. Why don't you two assholes take it off of us and fucking say something to each other? Yeah, you know um, what? And know what I liked real quick, and then I'll bow out. The second you called, you two started laughing together. 
And you know what it made me oh. feel? It made me. Oh, it made, oh, it shut made up. me feel like. Shut up. That good. What is this? What you, you know, I, I shut the fuck up and get on the. I heard phone. Anne Frank had a chuckle with the Nazis too exactly. at some point. Oh, well, well, what are the odds that you brought the Nazis in within five minutes of a call? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to scare you off. <laughs> no, you get, yeah, that might have been one of <laughs> our. Yeah, problems. That might have been one of our problems. Well, just come at me I with your hair. The hairs on my little arms go up when you two started talking. Fuck you. Oh, my God. Hey, hey, oh. Yeah. Did uh, did you hear from um, your brother and my brother? What do you mean? They're, they're talking. Uh, they're texting each other about, like, almost an intervention of throwing us in the same room just so we chit-chat. Wh- which brother? Brett. I, oh, Brett from F.H. Riley's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Brett no, and, Brett didn't fucking tell me that. Yeah, Brett and Joe have been conspiring. To try to uh, get us in the same room or something. Look at Opie's picture. He looks like a hobo off a train. Look what? That. No, that was from a uh, a uh, TV show. Which uh, which show? Um, the TBS. Show. I'm kidding. Okay. I only did one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Um, I, I I do uh, appreciate Keith reaching out to me. Yeah, uh, Keith's a good he, egg. He threw a fucking Hail Mary last week, but uh, I'm like, Keith, I there's too much to unwind. Too much to unwind, yeah. Anthony, in a week. Well, yeah, it's only been two years of uh, deconstructing 20 years. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, we you know what? I'd be totally open to uh, getting together somewhere, hanging out, and uh, having a little chit-chat. Nice oh. and light. Keep it light Keep at first. Just kind of re- reacquainting ourselves. You do it at Union Hall and, uh, on stage. Do it I can't Union Hall. Do it at Union Hall on stage. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll make it an appearance. Why don't you guys do it this week in Cuyahoga Falls? I'm at the funny stop. <laughs> You're so desperate. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen to You're Rich. You're so That's desperate. All you could all stay at his Howard Johnson hotel room afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, Paul. Why don't you? Why don't you tell Opie what you were just saying on the air about what he should do with his new show? Yeah, well, what? I, 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 I was saying, oh, like, uh, obviously the Opie and Anthony thing, right. like, is is done. I mean, that's obviously done. Right. And, and just a reinventing of your show. Like, it's your show instead of remnants of some other uh, show. I, I'm, of course. I, yeah. I feel like a free man, finally. Nothing against Jimmy, but now I feel like, okay, the ONA thing is officially over. And, right. and in the future, if, uh, I don't know, other things happen, then it'll be a brand new, different thing. Yes, I, so feel, the, I feel that, like, in my bones that it's finally over. So Nothing the reinventing the... is having Rich Voss on your show? <laughs> <laughs> he got to the V's. <laughs> <laughs> he got to the V's. He's got to transition away slowly he's, into a cold turkey. He, oh, he's shit. literally the only one that said yes. <laughs> I'm, uh, in, I'm in a bad spot. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, hey, listen. I burned a few bridges. <laughs> <laughs> you burned fucking tunnels. Oh, bridges. my God. Burned, burned a few, a few bridges. bridges. It looks like Dresden. Yes. <laughs> the uh, what, what happened with, uh, like, management? Are you, are you on the outs with those guys? Ah, oh, dude, when when have I not been? I, there yeah. was a couple of years there, though. It was, it was pretty good. A few a years there. A couple of solid years where a it couple wasn't few, too bad. A like, few good years, yes. I They wanted a they wanted a multi-year deal, and I said, no fucking way. That's um, exactly what he was saying before about him. He was saying that you would never take the long-term deal. You'd always insist that you guys take, like, a one, two-year deal. I was deal. like, take a ten-year deal. He's like, you should take dude. a ten-year okay. deal. <laughs> I made a, I, I Look. I made us money doing it that way. I know it got a little ugly, but they want to sign us for like three years at the same fucking salary. And I'm like, no, we do two. And then we can negotiate. We'll get a tiny little bump up for that third year. You still and, uh, using and, and, Eatman? Yeah. Uh, Eatman is... Uh, kind of backfired this year, huh? Eatman is... Uh, <laughs> uh, not quite the super agent line that he used to be at. It's kind of the... Uh, no, when I really looked at it, I'm like, I think he made one good deal for us in, in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. So let's fuck. keep him on board. Fuck it. Why how not? About, how about yeah. this? How about this? Bo- I go, Bob, it's obvious things are getting weird around Sirius XM. How about you get me one meeting? One. Something. One Something meeting. Different. One meeting that I can at least go to and go and see what's up. Yeah, no, how? it's not good. It- 
Can you believe how long Mercurio fucked our careers up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it all comes full circle tell, today, boys. Look, I Paul, tell that. tell the story when I saw you in Philly and I was in the front row. You were uh, you were warming up for Brian Regan, I believe. Yeah, I opened for Brian Regan, and I looked down, and there's this fucking asshole who wouldn't return my call for three years to go back on his show. And he was like, no, nah, there's not a problem. And then, fucking, I can never get back on his I, show. <laughs> no, no, he's call, a, give a call. We'll take it right up. Pull, get in touch with Roland. Yeah, he's, no telling the, he's telling the boring story. So I'm in the front row, and he's doing crowd work, and he's, like, just feeling good going down the row. And then all of a sudden he gets to me, sees my face, and it was like he saw a fucking ghost, and he was like, ah. He stumbled and stammered and then moved past me. And that's when I... I texted him and said, "Look, dude, I I don't have I you know I'm I'm fucking livid what happened, but I'm 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 good. We're good now. Everybody that looks at you sees a ghost because you had the pigment wait, wait, of a scallop. You, you said then you were good. You never been good with it. You ne you always say to I my said, face you're good with it, and then you never fucking return my uh, calls to come on your shows. Oh, you I, never I, did. I, I didn't watch you. Full of shit. Don't I, fucking say I, that. I, I didn't want there. I, I, you can't have it I, both ways. I, you I can't fucking say that. Look at Paul getting mad. With it, and then you fucking would never have your show again. What? <laughs> I am, I am good with it, but I didn't want you back on the show. You Paul. should have told me that instead of told me to yeah call me and I'll have you on. Paul, uh, I put you on my show, and even though he told me not to, but I still do. <laughs> rich, rich, my guy's destroying your guy. What are you doing? I'm, I'm laughing. I'm a double yeah, agent. This? I'm going to go with the winner. Uh, what the fuck, dude? Get in there. <laughs> what? I'm not going to attack Mercurio. He there. suffered enough. Uh, Look at him. We're all yeah. fine. I, I got no problem, with Mercurio. Mercurio. I, I sat and talked with Mercurio to sell the one night and he he dislikes a lot of the same comics i dislike so it makes me <laughs> it makes me like him more exactly makes me like, together i went on bonnie and rich's show and had a great time and i don't i'm not fucking pissing anybody i don't have a, i really don't have a problem with you. but also paul I, too, I really don't paul when you go to somebody and you put them on the spot and go hey have me on the show you know they're gonna say give me a call that that happens with clubs and I everybody on, you look, i didn't put them on the spot at some point we you know everybody had to have a little bit of a conversation especially me with people uh -huh. and you know the conversation hang on a second the conversation conversation with opie wasn't cornered like hey put me on we kind of cleared the air and then i didn't even ask then it was sort of through a text and whatever and i get look you don't want to have me on you don't want to have me on and that's fine but you know just you know it was sort of about like you know just say it I, and that's it but maybe I, at the, I, maybe at the I moment knew after uh, like a couple of times i just stopped uh, asking because i knew it wasn't going to happen no uh, big deal i'm not pissed at anybody I'll it's uncomfortable for a little while what are you going to do uh, i didn't uh, i look i never even talked uh, to you guys uh, for like I'll three tell years you, i'll tell you Voss, i literally didn't talk to anybody for three years oh uh, i'll tell you if Voss said no today man i would have fucking called you <laughs> <laughs> listen i would I i'm in a bad spot if i'm in a bad spot if i were in your shoes i would have been pissed at everybody Everybody's been, been radioactive attached to that. I've Every never, I never heard more excuses today <laughs> in my life. They, me and I'm going to sit in a room with a, like a wall full of comics, and it's like, all right, I'll trade you Big J for Sharad. <laughs> uh, I would, uh, let me. Uh, I need a, I need a Bill Burr. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I was driving today in, I almost said maybe I should just run my car into the wall, right. so this way I can get out of it. <laughs> Dude, I, listen, I'm going to do man. everybody's show. It, they're all, you guys are all, you know what? All, it, uh, uh, forget it. Whatever. Uh, that was, that was uh, well thought out. That well said. Well yeah, said, well right. thought out. Uh, I said open. enough earlier. Well thought out. I said enough earlier. Anthony, I was saying that you two should sit down and fuck. I said it earlier. And 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 I've been oh, saying wow. it forever. So, what a brilliant new thought we haven't read on Twitter. Oh, listen. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. He just, he just wants it to be his idea. It's not of my course. idea. It's yeah, not my idea. Uh, listen, I agree with Rich. He's got a good idea. And let me say something that I oh, said to that I said to about over here about Opie. Holy <laughs> fuck. The first time Opie. in two and a half years, and this guy's just babbling with those big lips of his. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck. It's probably... They're all wearing... They're all wearing wet suits. He gets angry at everybody. Well, at least it's not Rich Voss feeling like he's Jimmy Carter with Menachem Begin. Wow. Very nice. <laughs> I kind of miss those the histori doc, historical references. Ah, yeah. uh, we have a peace that'll last forever. <laughs> yeah, good. Good. You're talking about a superpower. What? Rich Foss. You doing good, Anthony? I'm doing pretty good, Hope. It's, uh, you know, it's been a um, pretty... Um, 
it's a challenge to uh, build something from from nothing. Right. Uh, and of course, it's still I don't know. You made a, You might have heard some legal wranglings that have been in the news. <laughs> but uh, things are going too well for him, and he's like, you know what? let me <laughs> let me add some other shit to my life. Well, we're we're get, we're getting through them. Uh, you getting, know, it's you're it, getting to that, you're getting through the legal stuff. Yeah, by December it should all be uh, taken care of. I have to go to. Uh, like alcohol meetings, and uh, I, I just finished yeah, up my home my meetings. batterers intervention meetings and things. Uh, you, but uh, yeah, you know, I mean, come on, with with my you, lifestyle and everything, uh, of course, something was going to blow up in my face. Do you uh, wink, wink? Oh, I was hoping mid- it was one of your guns. What? Nothing. Go ahead. You stepped up on uh, stepped on, oh, on one of a gun. My face. Uh, yeah, what the fuck? Is- I I was going to say, do you do you wink, wink? Miss the drinking. Uh, no, I, you know, I, I went to rehab. <laughs> right. And, uh, how was that? You know, as they say, one day at a time. It was actually pretty fun. Yeah. You brought a case with him. Uh, yeah, a case of crabs. I don't know if they want you to, I don't know, I don't know if they want you to, like, admit that rehab was fun, though. Well, no, I don't mean, like, like, I thought it was going to be kind of like prison. Right. And it turned out it was a real nice place. Artie recommended it. Uh, and, and, uh, he's a legend down there. It was nice. Cool. <laughs> That's great. It's in Florida. <laughs> they have the Artie Lang suite there. It's, uh, you can amazing. buy his, you can buy his eight tracks and CDs. You yeah. can tell because you could literally put a safe on the bed and it won't collapse. <laughs> <laughs> Artie's big. Yeah. He's heavy a man, bit on the big man. side. Is yeah, it, yeah. But you know, it, it's, isn't it uh, weird? Isn't it weird to that, that all like the Stern guys are doing, uh, both shows. Isn't that fucking strange? Yeah, having like you know John and uh, and Artie, Artie and Jackie, Jackie and, and Gilbert. <laughs> yeah, and then finally, yeah, Gilbert was really fun to have on, man. I, I loved him. I he's uh, love him. he's a good guy. And then uh, yeah, you know, you kind of you, you're forced to do what you have to do, kind of a thing. Uh, right. Uh, projecting and trying to think of what you should do uh, is not a healthy thing, and. You know, one day at a time, as they say. Let me ask you one question. All right. It's not heavy lifting. Thought he was going to hang up Do on you... me. Oh, my no, God. no, no, no. It would have been hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you... I got a lot of shit uh, over this over the years. Do really? you honestly think I didn't stick up for you? Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't think you went to bat... Um, as a guy that did radio with somebody for 20 years would have went to bat. I never heard one inkling that it happened. So, uh, yeah, I just never thought you, you gave it a, a good shot. I, I, I gave it, a, I gave it a, a fair shot, that's for sure. I got screamed at. They didn't want to hear it at the time. That's just it, I, like a fair shot. They didn't want shot. to hear that. Well, the, well, the other thing is, to be fair, I, I, I mean, was I... Was, were we going to get? Were we going to continue at that point? I did you honestly, honestly did you honestly think we were? Yeah, I, I honestly think we could have just continued doing uh, good shows. I, I, I really do. You well, mean like if Opie said I'm walking, if he walks, and you guys go, you guys go, you guys go do another show? That's I, well, I either felt, way. I, I, think, I felt the I felt the separation was already beginning before that incident, though. It was, but I wasn't sure if we did do something else, whether that would have helped out. Right. Or just the fact that, I mean, you know how a lot of these radio relationships go. Even if if the um, bottom falls out of the relationship portion of it, the shows are still good. And and I I thought the show was still very strong. You didn't think we needed a break at that point? Uh, I mean, we we were barely talking. I don't know. Maybe in in my own mind, maybe uh, going to bat for me when management wanted to fire me might have actually helped. We the, uh, oh the no oh movie. no I, I I mean maybe mm-hmm. maybe I shouldn't use the the word fair. Me and Jimmy absolutely went to bat, and they were screaming at us. They were so fucking pissed off at the time, and we were trying to say Dude, it's not it's not that big of a deal. We can get through this because then my thought was I I really did think that we were heading toward a uh, we needed a break, but. I, and this was never said to you, so I got to be, you know, I got to be, I got to be honest with you. My thought at that point was like, wow, we kind of need a break, but I, I didn't want to like blow up the Opie and Anthony brand. That's the stupidest thing in the world. So I was starting to think we got our own channel. Maybe we could figure out some new, new directions for both of us. 
Mm-hmm. Well, can I ask you guys something? I, I wasn't thinking you. that the whole thing should be, you know, blown up. That's for sure. And I want people, what? I want people to know that. I thought we were getting to a place like, like you, your interests on the radio show were obviously very different than my interests. And then it was sort of, you know, the, all those years where it worked, we were, we, we had a lot more of the same interests and we we're always on the same page, but we started wanting to talk about different things. And, and yeah, quite, absolutely. Quite, quite, quite frankly, we were, we were looking at each other like, oh, whatever. I'm, I, I'd rather talk about this and and I saw it in your eyes and you're like well I'd rather talk about this but yeah, I, we, but I, I didn't want to I, I, oh, sorry very yeah. different lifestyles but I didn't, know, wa- have- I didn't want to uh but I didn't want to like blow up the whole Opie and Anthony brand that was that was fucking gold so, but if both of you say both of you have said today that my attorney you know, is speaking yes, now please, uh. you both of you said today in all seriousness like you knew what you had why couldn't you bring yourselves to go get a beer one night or talk on the phone and go, look, we both just say what you're saying. We always had that bad issue where we never uh, really talked with each other. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, Anthony's not supposed, and Anthony's not supposed to drink. Uh, that was always uh, that was kind of a bad thing. <laughs> what a shock that you went through rehab. Oh, uh, uh, well, you know. I, is there a reason you couldn't just fucking go, look, we know we have something valuable here that's about to fucking implode. Let's figure this I, out. I, you know, I mean, Ann could, you know, I believe what he's saying, but I, I think we needed a break at the time. But That I, could very well be. I, I, wanna, I, I just but didn't I, like the way I, it happened. <laughs> that's all. Like, if we did need a break, that was fine. And maybe, you know, I, I just didn't feel like you, you went to bat for me. And then after that could have been like, well, we need a break anyway, but... It was right. just the timing of it came off like, oh, now it's just Opie and Jimmy, and 20 years, well, there no, goes Ant. We'll, we'll Jimmy, see what happens. Well, Jimmy never wanted uh, people to think that, you know, he took over for you. No, I, I knew that. But, but the fans all knew it was Opie and, and Jimmy. He, he could have called the show whatever he wanted, but it was very obvious to everybody it's now Opie and, and, and Jimmy. So, whatever. Well, but not anymore. No. Oh, oh no. no. You didn't want to do that. Oh, 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 no. No. <laughs> oh, 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 no. 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 You didn't want to do afternoons ever, like even when uh, Sabian, me- fucking mental patient Sabian wanted us to do afternoons. Dude, I I, I uh, ran into him a couple days ago. Matter of fact, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> with your car, he's out of his, he's out of his, <laughs> he's out of his fucking mind. It's amazing, uh, but uh, I think I think he did bring it up, but I uh, no no I did not. Mm. I did not. I don't know why that was um, um, spun differently, especially because yeah, I know he came to me right. at one point and said, like, I really and kept harping on it. And I actually had to bring out the contract and say, we're contracted to do mornings. Right. He, if you put us in afternoons, I'll claim breach of fucking contract. And he stopped that conversation. His, but he was under the impression that you wanted to do. No, afternoons, and see, and see, that's what he told me. So I believe. I believe that's what he told you, but I think he was uh, working, uh, you know, uh, both of us because I, I absolutely did not want that. He he talked about how, you know, we had our success in the afternoon, so wouldn't it be great? Oh, my God, you guys moved to afternoons and, uh, you know, redo that. But no, especially uh, when I had kids, it's it, like I, this. I, I mean, now I don't get to see my my. I, uh, it sounds stupid, but I. When you have kids, you I had the chance to be home with them all day, and now, you know, I, I don't see them from 8 in the morning till six thirty, seven 7 o'clock at night. That sucks. I know, dude. I'd rather exactly, have it the other way. I know exactly how you feel, because I don't see Beavis uh, until late at night. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I, 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 swear I, you, I swear to you, I thought you were going another way with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but I could still help her with her homework. <laughs> oh jeez! No, believe me, I've um, I've definitely calmed down on uh, the uh, crazy girl uh, uh, front. Yeah. Seventeen and above, at least until December. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Yeah, we, I, you know, look, we went obviously went in in different directions with our lifestyle, and it 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 came out on the air, and it was a lot more difficult to find common ground to talk about things. Uh, on the show. I do understand that. But um, the one thing that, that I think was taken away from this whole thing that people don't realize is there was always an appreciation for what we did for each other over the years and, and, and during our careers. Right. Uh, there was never a uh, without him, he wouldn't be famous, or without him, uh, he wouldn't be famous kind of a, an angle. It was a team effort. 
It worked very well. We did very well. And that has to be uh, respected no matter what. Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Wow, this is getting really gay. <clears throat> oh, uh, shut up! Well, maybe if you take my cock out of your mouth. What? It won't be as gay. Oh, it's fucking, this is great. This Wait, is the best fucking radio do you, in do you, so uh, Well, it would be without you, Rich. <laughs> Listen, I, you don't want me to get started, you motherfucker. <laughs> well, we, we've been waiting for you to get started for 20 years. <laughs> Boy, am I throwing him softballs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what Bonnie says. <laughs> oh, I'm rubbing your glue. Uh, oh. Listen, here's what I want to... I don't want to... You know what? I'll, I'll talk to you after the... Uh, forget. I'm not... I, keep going. You guys are doing great. He, he does that. He does that. When, he, he does that when he has nothing uh, to say. No, I do have something to say. I do. But it's it's none of my business. It's what between you say? two. It's between when you Rich, two. When, when Rich talks, it's like those parts in The Sopranos right before the end when they would go to Melfi. And he's like, oh, fuck! <laughs> it was getting good. Uh, right. No, because I don't. I'm not taking sides in anything, too. But yeah. when you say, "Did this is," I'm going to get a shitstorm on Twitter. But I'm coming on your show in a week or two, so I'm not taking All sides. Right. But here, here's oh, here's my opinion. Back in and, here? Uh, yeah, of course. I told you that. Where, on are, you, the, where are you going to tell Bonnie you're going? I told you. Listen, <laughs> here. Look at I. We talked on the phone, so don't try to play I know, fucking Rich, double. We did. I had a, I had a great conversation okay. with Rich the okay. other day. It was uh, it was okay. very cool. All right, and, so uh, I, I I get it. Okay, so right. I'm going to talk to you only not as fucking radio people, as somebody who's sober who went to rehab. And, okay, when you're drinking, you're blaming. You're saying, and I'm not taking Opie. So I'm just going from the alcoholic standpoint. You're saying, did Opie stand up for me? Hey, guess what? You didn't stand up for yourself because after oh, all that, after shit. all that, after all that shit happened, you could have came out and said, "Hey, I fucked up. I'm sorry." I'm going to go get help, and then you could have still had I your job, him. right? Is that true? I don't I don't I yeah, but I, but I don't think that would have saved his job. They were, oh, they no, were, no, no, they no. Hey, hey Paul, I'm not down. talking to you. Shut up, Paul. I'm talking to Anthony. I don't, I right? don't think that would have saved his job. But it would have it fucking... Would if so, you can't expect uh, people to help you unless you're helping yourself. That's all. I, uh, yeah, I don't uh, I agree with that. That's, that's good, Rich. Why don't you also say that the Jews should have apologized to the Nazis? Well, you don't think... I'm not saying apologize. That's what you're implying. No, I'm saying That's I'm you're implying I should have done. Well, I you, always bring it back to Jews and Nazis with Rich. I know, no, but, but wait, I think what Rich is saying is if you, if you came off more contrite or whatever and apologetic, maybe it could have saved your job. But I don't think it could have. I don't think it could have. I think they were just shut down. I don't think Rich makes a bad point. Uh, I, I, I still I still work here. I can tell you this: uh, it, it probably would have helped. Oh yeah, I swear. But we weren't Every talking because Scott. I mean, S Scott Greenstein's pretty much over it, but. Uh, you know, upstairs, maybe not so much. <laughs> maybe yeah, not so I much. Upstairs. And, 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 <laughs> that upstairs is without, a rough place. I love that upstairs. Yeah, that upstairs is a little rough. But uh, <laughs> but that's, that's but not, you. I mean, you know, you double down. That's your thing. And and absolutely double down and, and stuck to his guns. That's got to be respected. Yes, but, he, I, but I think if if he would have let it go a little bit. Uh, you know, but then again, maybe I wouldn't have wanted to come back here. Hey, that's, that's hey, Opie, here's, Opie, here's another thing, though. Honestly, remember what we were doing for a good fucking year, at least leading up to that, was saying, oh, here's another fucking pussy apologize. We were doing, playing the apologies and mocking everyone that was apologizing as they got in trouble. And then I could not in any way, shape, or form be that guy we had that, we had that, geared it up so much that put you that in it a, was almost impossible that put you in a tough spot absolutely it did absolutely. With the credibility with uh, the fans and everything man oh that was uh okay I I can't, was, wait wait I, wait I wait wait you got you still got credibility with the fans <laughs> how's that? How's that? How's that feel? Uh, I need to know. Uh, I need to. I need to know from the land that's far, far away from here. Oh my God! <laughs> Holy fuck, Rudy! Oh, why am I involved uh, with you, fucking asshole? Go fuck yourself! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Auntie, that wasn't pro opi or anti anti. I'm just saying from from a, a, you know looking at it from an aspect. Was there a way that you could have got around it without apologizing, but still trying to, you know what I'm saying? Without going, I'm sorry, but hey, you know, I didn't mean this as a fucking, ra whatever, you know what I'm saying? It you was uh, it was very difficult, like I said, because of the reasons I, I just said. And uh, also it was very difficult because there's no way, especially then, to try to squeak out of being called a racist on 
social media, uh-huh. especially two years ago when it was really starting to kick up. I think now it's kind of lost its oomph. I think people can say things on social media now and not have so many people pile on. And, yeah. and the people that pile on have that uh, ability to have you removed from your job because people yeah. are just sick of it right. at this point. But at that time, you were done, man. Yeah. You were fucking done. So, all right. So I, I, uh, then I stand corrected. I'm just seeing it from, you again. know. All yeah, right. But I also got to say, I got to say, like, objectively, oh, I'm oh. totally on the outside. Yeah, that this, anybody who fucking yeah, this is how I thought it would happen. This is how anybody, I thought it would happen. I had a good point. Anybody who heard him get fired. Hey, I let your flunky speak for a little while. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, put some <laughs> duct tape on his <laughs> mouth if you can. You fucking asshole. <laughs> I let your flunky speak. I thought of all the fucking things that you guys did over the years, that was not the thing for him to lose his job over. That's true, Joe. A lot of people said that. I did not think that, that was gonna, you were going to lose your job. I was, I was certainly uh, very surprised, yes. Hey, hey yes. Ant, yeah. are, you, uh, are you Googling black topics right now, Ant, as and, you sit here and take this call. <laughs> and, and, what, what's got That's you, what I'm doing. What's, what, if you what, notice, what, I've laid way off what, on any racial shit, uh, especially on social media. What's on and, your uh, what's on, on what's on your black radar today? <laughs> what's, on, <laughs> what's on the black radar? Let me see if I even have something. What's on your, your black on radar? The, uh, Oh, by the way, the paper crinkling up, it's called prep. Look into it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, um, that's, what, that's, what, that's what gay people take so they don't get AIDS. <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought he meant no, it's, prepare for um, the radio show. Well, oh, oh Bill Clinton's uh, black son. That's, that was what I had. And I see some here that says Chuck E. Cheese Brawl, so I assume that's black. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's actually not. See, I know. I, I saw that clip. Oh. I think they were Hispanic. I'm not sure. See, uh, it's probably black. Not... Anyway, it's uh, wait. It, does he really? Fine. He might have a black son. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's some. Uh, when did this kid, hit? Uh, yeah, uh, oh. from uh, Arkansas, I think. That he... said uh, he's Bill Clinton's son. Oh, E Rock said I got the the printout in front of me, uh, <laughs> which goes back to Anthony's point about show prep. <laughs> Look, man, I've been fishing for three weeks. Where, where oh, the fuck is this? <laughs> what, for a new job? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh. shit, Rich knocks one out. Jesus oh. Christ. Oh, boy, do they give me a haircut. <laughs> oh, boy, oh. do they give hey, me a haircut Aunt, around here. Anthony, you're saying, you know, the whole race thing does it, isn't as prevalent right now. You, you, the history, you do not want to go after feminists. This is their fucking time right now. These are the people you got to back off of, mm. I think. Yeah, it's... believe me. They're a little mad at me, too. <laughs> they... <laughs> hey, uh, hey, yeah. Anthony's trying to line up a date with a 17-year-old black girl and just out of the That's clear. a trivecta right there. Uh, clear me up. Every That's time not... he talks, I want a quick comedy. No, uh, please. I'll keep talking. Here we go. Let's just. I'm talking right now. Oh can't happen fast enough. <laughs> don't don't make promises you can't keep. I don't know. Maybe a little awareness would be nice. First time in two and a half years, this guy's trying to fucking. I know. <laughs> what a don't be Holy talking to himself. Shit. Yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ! Talk about an oversell. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. I love you, Paul. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. I love you. Oh, oh God. Uh, and th- I don't understand one thing. Yeah. Uh, the sloth. What's that? Uh, I didn't Gavin, really. I didn't. I didn't really understand that one. Gavin McInnes one day called you a torpid sloth. Right. And I think torpid made made the sloth even slower. Right. Uh. I, I get what was the actual gag there? It was I don't, a couple of years ago. I didn't really understand that one. Just uh I don't know, maybe it was an effort thing. Effort? What sure. the fuck? Hey, the guy managed to get himself thrown out of vice. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> effort Yeah, mm. yeah. Now look, I know. I was pretty lazy on the job. Please believe me. I understand that. And I, I, I do have to say, I literally haven't talked to you in uh, two years, three months. Two years, yeah. I and I, I didn't, I, I really didn't uh, watch pretty much any of your shows because it was just like, uh, this, it, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, no, I know. But, I, I didn't really listen either okay. to any, uh, any but, of yours. It's one of those. But when I, Anthony fans feel that way. When I called you human garbage and you showed up the next day in a garbage bag, that fucking made me laugh pretty Hello? fucking hard. That was that was a good one. That made me I laugh pretty like, fucking hard. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. To you. He's talking to Anthony. I'm not gonna. And who are you talking to? Rich? Colin. Colin's calling. Oh, what? All right. And uh, uh, and oh, I, I also want to clear this up. 
I was never under an assumed name on on Twitter saying anything about anyone. That uh, that really annoys me um, when it happens to me and people, you know, under assumed names or something. Uh, but no, I, I never did that. I wasn't any of the people that were uh, giving you grief on uh, on Twitter. If I had something to say, I would I would either say it on my show or tweet it under my own name. But uh, yeah, I was I wasn't pulling any of those shenanigans. All right, we'll let that sit there. I I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. You you had a fine army that uh, did a lot of your dirty work, though. Well, we we raised a bunch of fans that would do things, uh, pretty nasty things to uh, people that we would direct them to. But I never Ooh. literally directed them to you. They, you know, they pick up the ball and run with it. All those, and I can tell you, October fucking Facebook pages that they would desecrate. I can right. tell you firsthand, fucking your fans are very loyal. They're animals. If you amazing. fucking do something against yeah. you guys, I took a rash of shit. For Believe a me, time. they've turned on me too, Hope. You're talking right now with, uh, let's see, Tranthony. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, another one they call me was Tranpa. Uh, <laughs> and there's um, uh, Zit. zit. Is that Remember they were calling both of us tits and zits. That was a good one. Uh, right. And the worm. They were called Jimmy the worm. It, it was a bunch of, of things. You know, we took, we all took a lot of shit. You, you took a fuckload of shit. At the beginning, um, apparently, I don't know. Did you step well, on someone's cake? I didn't notice that. Oh, on the <laughs> Kick him out. I loved how they were trying to get you fired for I think, that. I think because like, I was looked at as the fucking boss, too. It made it, I'm, I'm not the boss. Fuck all that shit. God. You were, uh, fuck all that you, shit. That cake was three, four years ago. Oh, that, that's yeah. whatever. Oh. It's going to always pop up. What are you going to do? But, all right. Hey, Anthony, yeah. can you please yeah, yeah. tell your fans that we're friends? Okay, because I I really don't want to deal oh. with it tonight. Hey, Joe, please hang up hey, on him. Please hang up we, on him. <laughs> please hang we, up uh, on him. Rich, we're friends. Come on, I know that. And and yeah. hope uh, I'll I'll give you a text, right. and we'll uh, we'll set something up to uh, you know just hang out. Like I said, keep it light. And, are you uh, shaking your head while you're saying that? You shake. You're, why are you shaking? I will. Shaking your head? I will. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I will. Uh, I will keep an open mind. Oh, this is beautiful. I, I will I keep like an this. open mind. <laughs> All right. uh, <laughs> well, you have an open schedule. Bad. You might as well open your mind too. Uh, oh, shit. Can, can you tell they fucked me pretty bad? <laughs> oh, Jesus! Can, can you tell they really yeah. fucked me over? The wonderful. Wow. This is the life we have chosen. Uh, your friends become your enemies. Your enemies become your friends. Let go. <laughs> let go and let Anthony. That's right. my saying. I'm out of oh, here. I I gotta actually go. All right. Uh, oh, very good talking to you. And, uh, you know, we'll same, see what happens. Same here, buddy. All, All right, right, man. Take, hey, take it easy. All right. Uh, see you guys. I'll see you. That was, uh, that was kind of cool. All right. What? It was. It was. Okay. When you say <laughs> <laughs> I, I Look, I never, I, I never doubted the chemistry, but, you know. God, see, that's chemistry, man. I fucking miss that. You guys like see how you're talking? Where it was just so easy. It was an hour. Uh, that so could have been an just hour easy, of good radio. Right easy, there. just back and forth. Like, this is the easiest job in the world when you when you have someone that could just fucking go back and forth with. What's the sloth thing? I, I honest, I swear, I don't know. Oh, I wish that I one was like weird. I wish I would have made it up. I guess I'm slow or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm not quick with a line. I don't know. I honestly didn't understand that one. Voss, thanks for coming in. I, I really do. appreciate it. I knew uh, with all the weirdness that's been out there that uh, there was only one guy that I wanted in here today, and that was you, and that's I the do. truth. I didn't I fucking do. ask anybody else, and then it finally got to you. I, I Well, I wanted Chris DiStefano, to be fair. I yeah. wanted him. He was going to come in here, but he's uh, filming.